Tell me how to be closer to ya. Tell me how and I'll do it, babe. Cause I just wanna make you feel what I do about ya. So just tell me how and I'll do it, babe. Hi guys, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassandra. I am a mom of two boys. I post content on cleaning, organization, a little mom life, and weekly vlogs. So in today's video, I thought I would do a cook and clean with me. I haven't done a cooking video on my channel in so long. I definitely miss cooking. I have not been doing a lot of cooking since I had COVID because I still don't have my full taste back. So for me, I just haven't been feeling like it. So here I'm just going to stop by cleaning up the kitchen first. This day we had homeschooling and some I had to get some work done. So because I did not season up the meat beforehand, I am going to um, get that out the way. I'll be doing uh, pork chops. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like fry it down first. And then I'm going to cook it down. So I'm just taking it out the packet as it is. And then I'm going. what I'm going to do is cut all that excess fat off. I don't like the fat. The kids don't like the fat. So I'm just going in and trimming all of that off because we don't like it. So I'm just going to cut it off and then I'm going to use some vinegar to clean it and get the rawness off of it. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to season it. And I'm going to show you guys what seasoning I'm using. And I don't really put a like an excessive amount. I use a little bit of a lot of seasoning because I love my food to have flavor. So I I have to have my seasonings. I know a lot of them has like high sodium and stuff like that, but I just have to have the taste, y'all. For some reason, I don't know what Carter was watching, but he wanted to be a superhero, so I had to stop, wash my hands, dry my hands, and then put on a paper towel cape that I don't know where he got that from, but we just gonna go with it. You gotta pick your battles as a mom. Let me know if it's like that for you. Here, I'm just showing you what season I'm using. I um, ended up realizing that that was the fish one, but I wanted the chicken one. I ran out of the all-purpose Maggie seasoning. I'm going to go to the store and re-up on some spices. Like I said, I haven't been in the cooking mood, so just go with me. I'm just putting in what feels like I do not have specific measurements. Like You just got to go with what feels right. Like I'm not sure how to, how to like measure stuff like that like I was not taught with measurements and I'm using a paper bag because I didn't want the browning on my fingernails because I have on white nails so I went in and used a paper bag the bag was sitting there because I washed it earlier and I had it just sitting on the drying rack just so I know it was clean so that's why I was there and I'm just gonna put that to the side and let it marinate while I clean the kitchen up
Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. And ever since you came around, I've never been sober. Always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low. Went from just talking to taking you. the cooking portion I got some bell peppers out to be honest guys that's all I had in the fridge like with me I buy like the onions and stuff in bulk but like I said I have not cooked in about two months because I have not had a, any taste buds so I've been doing eating out and like quick it and whatever the kids ask for Typically with them, it's french fries and chicken nuggets or a hot dog and french fries, which I just pop those in the air fryer at the freezer. So I haven't really been to the grocery store to really buy anything that to cook or seasoning wise. So, but with bell peppers and stuff, I kind of buy one at a time because they kind of waste and I don't want things to go to waste. So I buy as I go. Here, I just, I put some oil in the pot and I'm just going to pop those in and let them brown on both sides. You don't want them to burn, you just want them to get the color. And I'm just going to put as many as I can in, pop the lid back on so the steam, it could trap the steam in the pot and cook it for me. And I'm just going to let that cook and then I'm going to do the rest and then I'll come back. Now, this is the trick to not having a lot of work after doing, after you're done cooking. You clean while you go. Whatever you use, you clean it, you put it back. It just makes it a lot easier. If you're like that, let me know. Because I am like kind of borderline OCD. As I go, I have to clean. I know a lot of people isn't like that and it drives me crazy. So here I'm just making... um getting the rice out and please people it, even if you buy the rice and it's supposed to be clean please wash your rice because you're gonna see the water is that like cloudy white it's not supposed to be that color it's supposed to be where you can see through the water so you i just keep washing it until it's like that i think i went three times but yeah so i'm gonna pop that in my rice cooker and then um i'll check on the meat
realized that I was not recording. Um, what I ended up putting in it was I put the bell peppers, the red and green bell peppers that you saw me cut up earlier. And I mixed some barbecue sauce and add some water into the gravy that was left over. So I just mixed all that together and I put it in and I let it simmer for about 10 minutes or less because keep in mind it's already cooked i'm just simmering it and making everything blend together so after it has been simmered for about 10 minutes um i'm just going in making sure everything has been marinated together and it looked good so i just tested it to make sure it was soft enough to my liking or not too soft but tender enough to my liking then I turned it off and went ahead and shared dinner for the boys.